In this video, we're going to explore about variable strings in JavaScript. And this is really a JavaScript tutorial for beginners. It's a very basic concept here. However, understanding this can be useful as well. So before I even start, if you're interested in ChartJS, check out my Udemy course in the description box. In there, you can find a link, click on it and explore how you can learn more about ChartJS because it's a very deep topic with over 10 hours of video content. So let's start and explore JavaScript for beginners and specifically the strings here. So what is basically a variable string? A variable string is a variable which has been assigned with text in there. So basically a string is considered a text item. So there's text in the item. So if we create here a constant, and this constant, is called sales or let's say a name that's probably a better one and in here to indicate it's a string it always has letters by default but also it has a quotation here if it's a number it could be a number by the way as well however these single quotations or double quotations and personally i prefer to use single quotation for javascript and for php uh, we tend to use double quotations however if there's a quotation in there it is a string by default most of the time a variable string is not a number in here does it make sense because especially if you want to calculate this this will not work so let's start and make a simple thing thing let's say name here and we say here John Doe that's the name so what we can do here is for example we can console.log to show it in our console in the developer tab in the messenger developer tab of our console we can show this so if we say here and we put in the name let's save this refresh here open up the developer tab you can see now our name is john doe that is nice so if you want to add up another one in here basically let's say here where this is first name and then we have another const which is last name and this one is though save this put it in here if we only save this now and show you can see here now we only show the name john and if you want to add it up here we have to do a plus symbol put in here here the last name but if you would save this you will see that there's no space between refresh here you can see john though but there's no space between so if you want to adjust that what we can do here is put in another plus symbol same quotation and put a space between here save there you are and what we can do as well is let's make an alert and in this alert we basically do exactly the same here but then we say here first hello user name is put this in here so we have this and then I have here a item here and this with a plus between so now what we have is hello username then you have the space is first name space last name single uh, semicolon here save this refresh and you can see this works here and we also get an alert here we need to confirm this because say hello username john space though except in here that's a space that works nice all right as you can see so what happened if we are putting in now a number here let's say one number save this put here number and number so hello username one though all right so now you would say okay this is fine so what happened if i put a number here and we have another number let's say uh sales and our sales is here is 1000 so what we're going to do now is we say number plus this and here sales as well let's remove everything we can say your total sales then you will say well aha uh -huh, the total sales will be basically these two here let's put wait just a minute i'm going to make this here let's make sure that this has sync quotation here all right so then you have number and sales so we say the total sales 
would be 1001. Let's save this and refresh. And as you can see now, instead of 1001, the total sales is 11,000. How come? What's going on here? Well, first of all, to understand this is not a uh, this is a string, not a number. Why we indicated this as a string? This means that it will add this at the end of here, like a text, like A, B, C. If this would be A, B, and C, you will see that this is just A, B, C, D, and E. You will see that this is exactly the same method here. It just starts like that. It sees it as A, B, C. It doesn't see it as a number. And because it doesn't see it as a number, it doesn't calculate. Even if you would say, well, well, maybe it's because we didn't put it correctly. So we say here, total sum equals this plus sales then you might say well probably that's the reason we put this in here and we add it up in here let's save this and refresh you can see same issue 11,000 here 11,000 here the reason why the total sum is not a number and to make it a number we need to change this here the moment we have this then there's no string anymore so let's refresh and now, as you can see, now our value is 1001, which is correct. So this is basically how you can use variable strings and combine them together, or like here, concatenate them, but also understand the differences here. So if you like these kind of videos, understanding how to use JavaScript, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions regarding to this topic, put them in the comment section below.